Aww. You are such a sweetheart, Henry. See? Mom, I wrote a letter home and saying, hey, you can do this. It's not that. It's not easy, but we can do this, right? Mm. What does it say? Let's look at the positive. I mean, one of the positive is I don't have to sit in the car to have to work every day. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And sometimes there's fewer meetings. And I see my kids every day. Mm. <laughs> so adorable. <laughs> And maybe not play with my watch. <laughs> Lovingly at that screen there. What's that for? That's my little eyeball. Let me show you what that does. Good question. So, uh, the case, but you know. Okay. If you want the stuffy away, by the way, we can take the stuffy out of the picture. Oh, stuffy, if stuffy wants to stay, that's fine. That's part of working from home. I'm sure stuffy has to stay, you know, a good bit. So, no worries, no worries. I'm just going to grab your hands on the... No, I just saw. <laughs> Don't worry, you know, I'll add the nice filter and everything, and they, they look fine. So, but yes, don't worry. <laughs> and just scroll through some of these pages. Oh, where's my signature? out the outline one day one afternoon and then typed it up the next yeah so and then I created the um, you know the, 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 the landing page essentially and these are all really tips that um, I was like okay I need to figure out a new way how to do things <laughs> and so um, these are some of the things that just worked for me some of them that I've learned over the years some of them that I learned through this crisis from other people and I figured other mummies will be just as challenged with working from home so uh, and I saw a lot of distress in Facebook groups um, so I decided let me just um, put something together and I taught those kind of tips on Facebook on Facebook lives every day and I was like okay but not everybody's gonna watch this let me put something practical together and people seem to really like it I just talked to a neonatologist yesterday and she's like, yeah, this is so practical, I can implement this. And it's like baby steps. It's not like things that, uh, it, everybody can do this. Absolutely, really. but, and, but you focus it. You For me, the, the reason why I did this was really uh, seeing, you know, how we all struggled with a big transition of, you know, having our routine, going to the hospital and being in our protective office and our kids being at school. And um, suddenly everything shifted. We had to find out a new way to do things. And I saw that a lot of people were struggling with that and are still struggling with that. Um, whether it's physician moms that now, you know, trying to get their meetings done from home and their kids are running around in the background and feeling stressed out about that. Or whether that's people um, uh, working on research projects, having grants to, or having grants um, ready to take to the next level or um, expire. All of these people, these, especially the physician moms, seem to be really stressed about how am I going to make this all work? And, um, and uh, there was a lot of um, anger and bitterness and frustration. I was like, what can I do? What have I done that helps me taking baby steps forward? That's really all about baby stepping yourself to some progress and some way forward. And versus looking at all the negative and the things that we don't have, I was trying to flip it around for myself every day. What can I do today? It's not, no day is perfect, 
but every day is a little bit better than if I wouldn't implement something, something simple. And sometimes days go better than others and then we just start fresh. And, but I go back to the very basics, like simple things like what can I do with my kids today? What can I do for work today? What can I do for myself or in the house? <laughs> used it and downloaded it um, uh, but it would be definitely great to get it in more hands because what I, the feedback I've gotten is that people really find it very helpful because um, they say it's very practical it's very easy to implement versus having a lot of fluffy words here's the thing like another wellness and yoga class is probably not get us over the hump people are looking for very practical tips how can I make today a little bit better? And that's what it's all about. We have a section in here talking about the positives and, and just thinking about what are just a couple things you can think about that are positive in this situation so that your mindset goes away from this is all bad, I'm stressed out, to what are the tiny things I'm grateful for? And for me, in the beginning, I was stressed out over, you know, I'm home all day, and it was kind of daunting to have the kids around and there was definitely tension um, because that is, we're not used to that. Now I start to kind of enjoy it and I'm glad I see them every day even though I don't spend 24 seven next to them, I see them all the time and I get to interact with them more. So I then I see that. them during breakfast, but it was all like rush, 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 let's get out, let's get to school. And um, that pressure is sort of a little bit relieved to have to you know, get out the door at a certain dot and of time. Oh, absolutely. What about, you know, how do you I still go to clinic once a week. On Wednesdays, I usually go to clinic, see all the patients. So we have one outpatient doctor. And when I'm home, I try to cluster my work so that when I'm in clinic, I take care of everything I can possibly can so I don't have to think, take things home and can focus on other things at home, such as calling families, writing clinic notes, etc. But sometimes I do have to call families and it's fine. I mean, I just tell them, okay, mommy has to call a patient, uh, just keep it down a little bit. Moms and dads on the other end know how it is. They are in the same boat. So um, uh, I think uh, I'm not stressed out too much as long as I have <laughs> been able to have a meaningful for a conversation with that parent on the other end. You know, and what oh, that really just took me um, uh, a couple of days um, because I was already teaching and communicating some of these practical uh, tips in, um, in one of my Facebook groups. So I have a little group for uh, physicians and scientists interested in leadership and, and bettering themselves and, and helping sort of with their academic skill set. So I teach in there all the time. So I had put out little lessons and outlined them so I had a starting point. And I was just sharing the tips that have helped me or that I learned recently from other people that I want to pass on. So then I wrote the outline really in, um, you know, sketched it out on a piece of paper in one afternoon and probably, I don't know, half an hour, an hour. And the next day I just went and typed it up. Um, and it really took me just a day. And then I put a picture up there and there we are. <laughs> yes, I, I think for me it was just a vehicle to what do they need right now? What do I need and what do I think other people need and how can I help them? Um, in, in sheer information. And that was really where this came from. Moving forward, um, I think, um, you know, everybody has their own way of how they cope and how in their own situation. So I think there's not a one size fits all. Um, this is just a, a way for them to find their own way how to make their days better and how to adapt to a new way from working from home. Because I was spinning my hamster wheels and I felt guilty on all ends. Whether I was at home, I felt like not good enough as a mom and not being spending enough time with them. At work, I felt like I wasn't delivering what was expected or what I expected of myself as well. And I felt frustrated. And it took me really some years to pull me out of myself, out of that pit and, and kind of find a way forward. And I was looking outside of medicine much more. So I decided um, just actually last week that I wanna come up and create a community for academic physician moms that just like me, um, that were struggling, especially when they're just starting out, keeping all the balls up in the air and having a supportive uh, community that holds them accountable, um, that um, provides some practical tips of how do I do certain things, how can I be more productive and streamline my life, 
um, but also help with um, uh, accountability and support and making sure they make progress on their career path through a supportive community and, and coaching. Um, so, um, actually, I'm going to launch that next week for some founding my member, just like they go to the gym, and where they can focus on developing and designing the career and life they want with, for themselves as well as for their families. Uh, uh, sort of the community and the resources, yeah, I think in the future we'll be super excited to host events for women, uh, to get together and, and host kind of live events. That would be fantastic and people are really interested in that. And um, the other part is, um, yeah, I, I have a nonprofit organization, as you know, so um, I'm always looking at ways how can I how can I support that and a lot of the things I'm learning here are also helping me to move forward with a nonprofit. Yeah, that's amazing. If we had to put a number on it, it's just sort of I'm testing it out. <laughs> it's in a testing phase. Oh, I love it. Go ahead, show me uh, if you don't mind the. Uh... <laughs> I could just keep And Henry, I don't even I know if Henry that's going to be the final price, but and something the, like that, that. Something like that is just fine, yeah. That's yeah, funny. I really don't. Uh, I don't do the Starbucks anymore. But we were used to doing everything. Yes. Everything has just. You know, they say, right, it takes two of our habits are just so um, confused, you know, we just... Okay. And let me know if you can move somewhere else. Scroll or... up so I can see a little more of the um, academic... Uh, oh, this one? Yeah, that part right in there. I'm way too late and I usually work on these things so I try to be pretty conscious on uh, and you know have my work hours uh, and before even this pandemic hit um, you know do my work during my work hours and then at night and weekends you know uh, other that's kind of my passion project and my my hobby so to speak because I'm really passionate about helping other academic physician women because um, yeah I, I felt like I had such a hard time doing that transition that I want to help others kind of um, get on a better path. So uh, and uh, so I just I do it on my own dime and time to so to speak, and uh, I really love it. I have learned so much, and I think it is so important that um, each and any one of us. Um, whatever it is, that we spend time on the things that fuel us and that feed us and that gets us excited, and most importantly, that make an impact on something, an impact in the world. Um, if I can make an impact with this PDF I wrote on, on just a handful of women, if they just feel like a little less drowning and they felt like they got their head, their head above water that day, I made a difference, and that then it's all worth it. And that's really what I'm doing this for, um, because um, I think it's just so important that whatever we spend time in, you know, life is short, and we have realized this, especially during this time. Um, you got to do what fuels your passion, and to me it is so important that I do something that makes an impact, um, and, and that has a purpose. And... Um, yeah, that as a physician, obviously I do that. I'm a pediatric cancer doctor, so when I take care of patients, that has an impact. Uh, but there are so many things in the hospital, for example, that you feel like they don't have that much impact. And I think that's also where people are hurting. I think that became very clear to this, during this pandemic. Doctors are hurting. The medical field is hurting. They are stressed out. It brought up all the, um, the challenges and the kind of insufficiencies we had all along for decades. But now, I think there's also lots of people see um, also opportunity. It has been a great time for people to come together. I think the medical organizations, our hospital has been innovating. I've been impressed how our department came together and just kind of like, okay, how are, gonna we, how are we gonna pivot? How are we gonna do this? And it's an ongoing change. That,
I'm sure those people will be very excited that I was their cop now. I feel like this is perfect that I can have your... So cool, right? That is really cool. What is it? Boom, up. Boom, boom. Mom home during the day. Um, it's nice. Cause I get to spend some time with her. You know, that's Wait, the big thing. You why? Because, like, my mom is fun and she <laughs> and I can, yeah. Because she is helping other moms and prob that are probably struggling kind of like her. And how hard you th <laughs> how hard is? Pretty hard. She <laughs> is helping other moms and yeah. She's helping other moms. It's nice. <laughs> kind of sad. <laughs> but then it gets better because she's back for lunch, right? I mean, that's mm -hmm. kind of cool. Yeah. Hey, okay, gotcha, gotcha. It's coding for kids. That's awesome. It's and that pink, like, weird pink color. And, and it's that, that and dark. Then Henry dark. does like coding. Boop. He's okay. really good. We are, so one day we'll get to this level. Oh, yeah. Fast. Like how I did the snapshot thing. I mm. quit a lot. Snapshots. Kind of too much, I think. <laughs> we try every day and some days have been hard, you know. Everybody has a meltdown and as a parent, um, it's not all perfect either, right? Sometimes you get frustrated and you get short and you get frustrated with the kids. But Definitely, I think it been an adjustment for our family, but we're working through it, and I think, uh, I think in, in many ways it gave us a chance to explore and talk about things we otherwise just too busy to talk about, and that has been really good actually. Yeah, you. See if I can get some cool shots of you setting all this up. <laughs> Your brothers. In the group. Oh, I don't know if that has anything to me. No. Just, <laughs> you guys are just awesome. It is the meltdowns when we have to turn on the of the electronics. They definitely happen. <laughs> they don't do that. Don't even talk about it. <laughs> Usually, yep, he often exactly. sits in his room or in his bed or... Is that the one, man? Okay. She checked. You're having fun here, which... Okay. Yeah. Is this? Yeah. Then... Yeah. Does it turn? Oh, it's now and it's going to... It doesn't turn what it does. I'm going to... No. What does you just say? Okay. I have to take it all off apart. You can just take a bunch of the green pieces off also. Yeah, I'm not quite sure where it goes, to be honest. Oh. Oops! Oh. What did he do? Oh, that Yoda. Now, Yoda, do or do not. There's no try, okay? <laughs> Your brother is really good with these two, isn't he? Okay. Wow. Oh, that's really good. Mom, come! 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 Come!
can bring your Henry over. Yes! Oh, yeah. This. You have like huge wood pieces in there. Okay, okay. push that all in. Okay. Oh, yep, yep. What okay. can I say? Hashtag welcome from home. What Hashtag Fire Nation! <laughs> what you can say is the This should burn for a while. Okay. I think so. I got wet. One, two, three, go big hugs. Yeah. Oh, hang on now. I just... <laughs> but it's still a fun one. Oh my gosh, too fun. <laughs> oh, you guys. You okay. pro. I know, you guys are like made for, for the movies. Oh. See, Phoenix? No too attacking. cute, too Please. cute. Oh, I have such cute shots.